Igor Mayet, Alaska Early, Os Irit, Falcha Road. Alaska here, I want to begin by welcoming the Minister and indeed, uh, while having some points to make, uh, welcoming overall uh, the introduction of this legislation into the House uh, this morning. As the Minister will know, uh, it's a long time coming. He was part uh, and parcel and intimately involved in the negotiations uh, with the British Government uh, and the parties uh, in the North. Um, I note too that uh, the Minister used the term corrosive uh, in his remarks uh, when referring to the legacy of the past, and he's right. Um, our, the legacy of our past can indeed be uh, corrosive uh, in many ways. Uh, however, what remains most corrosive uh, is the, uh, thus far uh, the refusal in some instances, um, but overall the inability to resolve uh, this issue uh, and to get truth uh, and justice for families. And, uh, part of what today's legislation seeks to do is that. And that's why uh, it's welcome, and that's why I just wish uh, others with responsibility were taking this as serious and moving uh, as swiftly. So, Minister, as you'll know, uh, I'll be supporting this legislation. Uh, I do, uh, however, regret, as you acknowledge yourself, we are dealing with it in such uh, a hastened uh, way this week, but uh, we are where we are. Um, this is a time when there's a lot of justice legislation passing through the House, and I'm sure other colleagues across the board would have appreciated uh, more time to uh, engage with this legislation in a more detailed way. But uh, as I say, I concede um, that we are, uh, we are where we are. Um, this legislation is important, as I've said, and Sinn Féin uh, supports it. We have long, uh, for a long time called for such uh, legislation, and like yourself, Minister, our negotiation team our negotiating team were part of the talks at Stormont House. And there are ongoing issues in trying to deal with legacy, and there's much more we need to do. But the Stormont House agreement was reached between the parties and both governments on this very contested issue of legacy. That was a difficult thing uh, to achieve, with a lot involved in it, not just for the political parties, but mostly the families, the victims and the survivors. The agreement was reached after difficult negotiations, and the issue of legacy is, of course, sensitive and complex. To achieve that agreement was one thing, uh, but unfortunately we haven't made much progress on it to date. This is one of the obligations of the Irish Government, uh, and I hope the passage of this bill today will prompt the British Government to act and to legislate. The British end of the legislation is, uh, of course, much more substantial. There are ongoing requirements for inquests and inquiries, such as in the case of Pat Finnegan and several others. The British Government has had uh, this legislation on their desk for a considerable period of time. The PSNI has identified the fact that it doesn't feel it has the capacity to properly investigate legacy cases and its impact on their ability to police in the here and now. It needs the Independent Commission for Information Retrieval, the ICIR, and the Historical Investigations Unit, but the British Government has been very slow to act. I hope this will prompt some movement today. I also recognise that the legislation uh, is necessary in the context of ongoing inquests into the Kingsmill massacre and the case of Arlene Arkinson. It is important for this legislation to be expedited if it can assist with those inquests. The bill primarily facilitates the cooperation of Angarda Shihana with coroner's inquests and allows Gardaí to give statements. It appears that the mechanism provided is tight as it needs to be, as it relates to the coroner in the north, or in certain circumstances, a designated coroner in Britain could make a request for assistance to the Garda Commissioner. And the Garda Commissioner can decide to agree, agree in part, or to refuse. The coroner can be present while a Garda of, no, of a rank no lower than Chief Superintendent is questioned by a High Court judge. That is appropriate, as Garda have in the past provided documentary evidence, but have not been in a position to provide testimony. Private individuals can do so, uh, as things stand, but Garda cannot. It will be of value to such inquests if Garda are in a position where they can now testify. The other issues, as you acknowledge, Minister, are largely technical, so I do not need to uh, cover them uh, in great detail. Um, as I have said, uh, Minister, there are key uh, components uh, to this bill uh, which are important. Uh, it is our view that the bill could uh, be uh, strengthened um, with a modest uh, amendment at committee stage, but uh, an amendment that would have uh, 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 a positive impact uh, in terms of uh, accountability and oversight uh, with this process uh, moving forward. So, Minister, uh, I listened uh, to the debate uh, in the other House, and I listened with great interest to uh, Fianna Fáil uh, Deputy uh, Jim O'Callaghan suggesting in the dial about the need for, an international, uh, uh, for international involvement in this process. And of course, it has long been Sinn Féin's view that there is a strong case for an international Truth and Reconciliation Commission. 
but in the absence uh, of agreement on the process of that kind, the best roadmap agreed by both governments and the political parties, north and south, is through the use, the use of the Stormont House mechanisms. So it's past time to implement them. This is a step towards that, but more is required uh, from us, but also from the British government in particular. I hope, as I have said uh, numerous times already, and I hope, as has been expressed by the families, whether they have to go through the courts or indeed whether in more recent times thousands and thousands of them have, have, haven't, have, haven't, have had to take to the streets uh, to see uh, their right to truth and justice uh, fulfilled and realised, uh, I hope for them we will start to see some movement from the British government as well.